Hey, how's it you guys? Aroma Surf right here. Part of the street food playlist. This is a new little segment of street food. We're calling it, this is Kapahulu. Kapahulu is a food street, guys, right outside of Waikiki. And we're gonna go ahead and not really showcase any particular venue, but we're gonna give you a sample of all the different venues that are on this one street and it's a walkable distance. All of the venues are walkable. Enjoy the ride, you guys. We're here on the e-scooters today. Looking forward to sharing Kapahulu Avenue with you. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Aloha. Yeah, so uh, once you cross the Library of the Blind on the Diamond Head side of the street, You'll see the first Hawaiian bank, and this is basically the beginning of the strip, Kapahulu Avenue. Hey, how's it, you guys? Roma Surf. Right here, Kapahulu Avenue. A new segment of the street food playlist called This Is Kapahulu. Kapahulu is a food district street right outside of Waikiki. It is walking distance. Enjoy the ride, you guys as we show you all the different venues that are on Kapahulu Avenue. Aloha. This is He Hing Plaza. A long time ago, they used to call this Sam Choi Plaza. There used to be a Sam Choi's here for years. Sam Choi is one of our local Hawaiian chefs. Been very successful and had several different venues. Growlers is a nice little micro brew watering hole. They also have good food, nice little sampler type poopoo stuff. Nice long counter, super clean water. They have a really amazing water filtration system. You can get a variety of different micro beers, some craft beers here, as well as your standards. And uh, some tasty food. That's on the first floor. Looking up to the second floor. And as we get up to the second floor, We've got Tamafuji Tonkatsu. This is a pretty popular tonkatsu restaurant that usually has a massive line waiting to get in daily. Um, right now it's between operating hours and this is uh, kind of still slightly pandemic times out here, guys. We're just in the beginning of June. Happy spring to everybody. Happy summer to everyone. And then right next to Tamu Fuji Tonkatsu is Tokuri Te. And Tokuri Te is a Japanese izakaya restaurant. They've had several different locations over the years on Kapahulu Avenue. They're a long term izakaya restaurant. Uh, what's really nice about Tokuri Te is they have family sized portions, their pricing is really reasonable. They do have a large selection of Nihonshu. Uh, different types of sakes and shochus from various parts of Japan if you're into that kind of stuff. Definitely a good place to get some Japanese food right outside of Waikiki. Now 449 Kapahulu is the street address for this plaza. It's easy to notice it's two stories with underground parking available and uh, that's validated parking that you can get from the different venues that are in this plaza. Now across from this plaza is also the beginning of um, the Alawai Golf Course, which I believe is one of the most played on golf courses in the world. Moving forward, Malka side, that means toward the mountains. Okay, next venue right here on the corner. This is the House of Wong, Chinese restaurant. Um, I've got a good buddy of mine. I have not eaten here, but this good buddy of mine actually said these guys are really tasty, really cool owner as well. They do feature big groups. I see a lot of tourist groups. They have a big upstairs, pretty large venue. It's right on the corner landmark as well that marks the Rainbow Drive-In.
excuse the wind guys so we got the rainbow drive in this is home of the famous local moco in all the japanese tourist books at rainbows you can find all kinds of great local plate lunch dishes available very old school one of the last of the few drive-ins around and uh definitely very nostalgic very busy always see rainbows has taken the parking lot next to their original parking lot for outdoor seating expansion <clears throat> right next to rainbow drive-in we have hawaii's favorite kitchens and this is a shave ice venue as well you can see the shave ice sign right on the side of the building well as we continue to move on you guys All right. Right over here. Talk about nostalgic hole in the walls. Sunrise Restaurant. This is really cool. This is just a little hole in the wall Japanese restaurant. Of course, we can't go in there right now. It's just a too small of a place. My guess is probably about a seat, six to ten table place max on the inside, but some good traditional uh, Japanese food. Okay, moving on. All right, you guys, next up on the list, Uncle Bo's, you guys. Very famous and local favorite here on Kapahulu for local food, steaks, seafood. This place is busy, and then there is parking across the street. There's a municipal parking lot right next to the recycling center. Now they've added a couple of other food venues just recently. Uh, they remodeled this building. And uh, I'm gonna kind of walk slowly by them. Honolulu Skewer House and this is brand new uh, doing kind of a yaki tori it says first northern Chinese barbecue in Hawaii so a Chinese style of yaki tori looks tasty for sure and then pho old Saigon grill and baguette so we've got some Vietnamese right next to that Spring rolls, pho, of course, green papaya salad, vermicelli bowls. And then they pop the second floor above these guys. I'm just going to do a loop back so I can see what's up there. We got guava smoked. <clears throat> now we've just about made it to, I would say, the first quarter mile. This is still the first quarter. What's really cool is when I get up to the corner here, Zippy's. Okay, well, for those of you that don't know, Zippy's is a local restaurant chain here in the islands. Uh, <clears throat> they've been around for a long time and they have also a bakery, Napoleon's Bakery, that's part of their venue. And so you can get really nice baked goods. Now, if we take a right real quick, we've got Nanding's Bakery. Nanding's Bakery is a Filipino bakery. These guys are blowing up the slippers. This is kind of a new favorite now for the omiyage, uh, for the presents locally to be given as little thank yous. Um, it's always been like Leonard Malasada's, which is also on this street, but Nanding's Bakery, they've got the lady slippers and they are addictive. Just thin little butter donuts, they love them. This is a new ramen restaurant that's open. I'm going to sample them for sure because I'm a big ramen lover, but I'm super picky about ramen. So uh, I'm not going to sample them today, but we'll come back and we might do a shoot of those guys uh, pending if I uh, become a lover of their ramen. And I sure hope I do because when it's done right, it's just so wonderful. 
And no disrespect to any of the local ramen houses, it's just that, you know, I lived in Kyoto, I have a certain type of taste for the kind of ramen I like, and the type of noodles especially. You gotta be able to slurp the noodles. Egg noodles don't slurp. Tenkai Pin. How's this? Right around the corner from Onoya is another ramen house. And these guys are pretty old school. It doesn't look like they're open now. I came and sampled their ramen. Sometimes I'm a little picky for that, so excuse me guys. But uh, like I said, it's got to be able to slurp right. Alright, so we're halfway through Kapahulu. wanted to touch base on a couple little places that are on this side of the street. This used to be Ono Hawaiian. Now it's Da Ono Hawaiian. Um, they were a long-term Hawaiian food venue uh, for years. It might be the same owner. Um, <laughs> the name hasn't changed much. It was Ono and now it's Da Ono. Either it's in memory of Ono or it's the same owner with just a new addition. And then next to that Siam Palace, a little Thai food restaurant. Again, it's a little bit slow just because um, the indoor seating is just starting to free up and not all of the venues are big enough. Uh, so they are still doing takeout. Uh, when we went down to Chinatown last weekend, we noticed that Chinatown is still kind of locked down for internal seating as well. They're still pretty much doing takeout at most of the venues in Chinatown still. And again, this is June 4th, uh, 2021. Moving forward. All right. Ibushi. Aburiya. These guys um, are pretty new too. They've got set meals, aburiyaki, nikomi, nice little Japanese venue. Uh, this location had changed a lot of hands. It was a curry house before that. <clears throat> These guys look good. The photos look good. They've got set meals. It looks like around anywhere from 15, 17, 18 bucks. We'll have to definitely come sample these guys um, when we can actually go and sit down. Right now you can tell that they're strictly just doing takeout for the moment. Okay, now we've got a couple more little spaces and all of these are always changing. This was a lounge that's now closed. And this is Vegan City, a little plant-based food restaurant that we're gonna probably have to come and sample at some point. Vegan City. We got Glad Yakitori. These guys have been really good um, where everything is $3.90 a plate. Another Hawaiian takeout restaurant on the corner. And then just across the street is the new location for Magoo's. Magoo's was a pizza place that originally was on University Avenue. Super famous hangout, music venue pizza house right by the college for all the college kids. Um, it's a family owned business. It's a takeout only, but it is Magoo's and that's what's really cool. And you can see the banner kind of uh, strung in front there. So now we're just gonna double back slightly on this side of the road. This is the Diamond Head side of Kapahu Avenue uh, to pick up on this side of the street where we left off. And where we're headed right now, this place is mega famous. They're not open today. We kind of chose that intentionally so that we could actually just kind of show you a good shot of the place without all the people and the cars all over the place. This is Ono, okay? Ono Seafood, legendary. They've been around for years. Um, definitely always been one of the best places to get a good fresh poke bowl. And this place, I'm not gonna lie, is packed. The parking lot is small. They only have a few spaces that are actually 
for their customers so it can be tight in here guys but awesome you got to come in here the poke is off the hook for sure and it's always super fresh and then um, Anu soft serve which is right behind us Anu Island soft serve is a plant-based soft serve which is really cool so we got some vegan chilled cream after a nice tasty poke bowl right in the same parking lot and this is uh, again just past middle uh, Kapahulu closer toward the mountainside versus the ocean side at this point Dade Street kind of marks the middle they have specials they feature every week as far as flavors it's really cool so uh, time to mask up so we can order some nice soft serve here, guys. What's you guys' uh, special of the, is it weeklies, yeah? Yeah, so we got uh, two flavors, uh -huh. and three bubbles. Sweet. Let's uh, do one of each, please. And then we also have our sizes and stuff down here. Okay. Uh, sugar cone, good for you? Two sugar cones. Two sugar cones and one cup. Oh, sorry, I want a cup. Oh, you want a cup? Yeah. Okay, one cup and one sugar cone, please. The cup is what flavor? Uh, let's do the cup in um, ube, or no? Let's do the let's sorry. Let's do the cone in ube and the cup in fruity pebbles, please. Sorry about that. And then, what are the recommended additional toppings? I mean, I know it's whatever people like, but is there kind of a certain one that kind of is common? Well, wow, that was fast. Woo. So, with the fruity pebbles, I'm not really. What a lot of people getting. Coconut maybe? Yeah, but we're on the coconut right now. Okay, no worries. So, um, we have coconut connect milk. A lot of people are getting that. Uh, some other people are getting macadamia nuts, uh, almonds with it, rainbow sprinkles, sometimes granola. Okay, crucial. Maybe some macadamia, I guess, on there. Macadamia nuts? Yeah. Thanks. So I got to do some quick little licky lickies. Mm, super tasty. Um, definitely can taste like a coconut base. Um, coconut milk base. Um, however, it's that kind of textures, which is interesting. It has kind of an icy texture when you first bite in, but then it creams out at the end, which is really cool considering this is plant-based it's all vegan zero dairy excellent on the island soft serve okay going into the fruity pebbles the flavor of this leek with some macadamia fruity pebbles guys Really nice. Um, it's got that taste of the classic children's cereal that we all ate when we were kids, at least older school folks like us. Fruity pep. Hey, right on you guys. Flavors to the tongue. As I finish up the fruity pebbles, we just demolished the ube with the sugar. Uh, cone, sugar cone with the ube flavor. This is the fruity pebbles in the bowl. Added some macadamia nut. Um, it's just really cool. The uh, texture again. It's it's um, so easy to eat. 
It's got this just nice light kind of icy intro, but still with kind of a light creamy finish. Really special. Uh, great soft serve. Hey, without further ado, guys, I'm gonna give them the double shaka of goodness right here on the island. Soft serve, plant-based soft serve. Everybody you can tell in the background is excited. Thanks for dialing in, you guys. Aroma serve, street food right here. Just an exciting little extra to throw in on Kapahulu Street right here. This is Kapahulu. Hello. Okay, continuing on, guys. After a nice little pit stop from Anu Island, soft serve. We had the fruity pebble flavor and the ube. Huh, feeling good. Nice little recharge. Okay, moving forward. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Okay, guys, we got some venues on the Eva side, uh, town side of Kapahulu, but first we're gonna do the Leahi Diamond Head side since we're already over here, so moving forward. Rolling up on this interesting new Kind of an exclusive private restaurant bar. Um, these guys have done a really nice job of uh, decorating the interior and exterior of this place. The Blind Ox. Got a payphone on the outside for their customers to contact them. Kind of cool, man. Like a private club right here on the strip. Kaimana Farm Cafe. Awesome. Another hot spot right here on Kapahulu across from the Safeway Shopping Center Plaza. Kaimana Farm is featuring farm to table food, super healthy. Uh, they've got uh, all types of great breakfasts and lunch. Safeway Plaza. Okay, cool. Well, right around the corner from this, um, again, we have these little side street venues. This is the second location for a famous shave ice place. It's called Wyola Shave Ice. And they're located right here. Super busy place. Um, all kinds of people getting their shave ice. The original Wyola Shave Ice is actually on Wyola Street. For all you guys that don't know what Shave Ice is, it is a type of a snow cone. However, the machine that's used for cutting that ice and the ice that's used is more selective and more special. And it gives this really kind of almost ice cream texture. Coming up on a Spanish-Italian combi fusion restaurant here that's always busy, Rigo. This place has some really tasty uh, entrees and appetizers and a very large selection of wine. They have a wine cellar that's on the ceiling, the high ceiling restaurant, which is really cool. They're always busy. Definitely need a reservation to get in here. <laughs> if you ever try to do a walk up, it's pretty much out of the question. And then around the corner from that, on the little side shoot, is a really awesome 30 year plus. I know Don Ho used to love coming here. Um, a lot of the celebrities, a lot of the local Hawaiian celebrities uh, came to this izakaya. Sorry for all the noise guys, but this is the busiest street going from the ocean to the mountains, Kapahulu Avenue. I'm gonna go ahead and cross the street, you guys, to the other side of the street 
and just do a quick catch up on just two venues that are not in the Safeway Plaza that are on Papahulu Avenue. All right, you guys. Musical streets, crossing them back and forth, just trying to make sure we truly get everywhere covered for you guys. That was the Panda Express that we talked about a second ago. And the little stuff pita place that I also mentioned. Okay, cool. So, two more venues and then we're going to shoot right back toward the mountain again. We're making this fun, zigzaggity zag ziggity of First is awesome place called Fa Kapahulu. Great Fa, uh, great vegetarian menu available as well. A lot of veggies come here because they are they, vegetarian. Spring rolls are just really, really on fire. Always serving up really great food. It's a family run business, of course. And the two sisters or three sisters that I know personally, because I do frequent them often, uh, Super, super awesome family. Fakapahulu. Ono Dera, I just wanted to mention this really quickly. Um, this guy's is a really exclusive. They're a super hard to get into, backed up reservation, exclusive sushi counter for those that can afford the very exclusive sushi. Cool. So again, we're just gonna kind of pass up the Safeway Plaza. If you guys wanna come see that on your own, more than welcome to. Um, it is a place to be able to get your groceries outside of Waikiki until the new uh, supermarket is built. Let's go across. This, this time we'll stay on the Eva side and then we'll come back on the Diamond Head, okay? Okay, so continuing forward, almost there you guys, believe it or not, at least for the other side of the street. Okay, first coming up on the adjacent corner, opposite side of the street. We've got the Sweet E Cafe. And these guys are busy, man, all the time, nonstop. That's another reason why we came now that they're closed, because there wouldn't be a place to move around. This parking lot is jammed. There's a line always out here every single day. This is a big boom. Ever since they opened, Sweet E's, everybody loves them. That's everything on the other side of the street, you guys. Okay. The final few right here on the Diamond Head side of Kapahulu Avenue. Hope you've been enjoying this. If you like what you've been seeing, guys, huh, please give us a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet to the Aroma Surf Ohana, please do. Gotta keep, keep you in the mix for sure. Okay, yeah, here it is guys, Alejandro's. This is Alejandro's too. They started out in Kalihi Valley, uh, in the back of Kalihi Valley, and they did so well that they uh, opened up a corner space right here on the corner of Kapahulu and Kaimuki Avenue. And uh, these guys have been busy ever since they opened, including their takeout during pandemic times. And they've got a cool little takeout taco window here on the side. It just makes it easy. You can see the menu. You can just come right up, order your food on the side. And then next to Alejandro's is Kono's. Kono's who started on the North Shore, up in the North Shore Marketplace, kind of right out in the street front there. Uh, this is one of their locations. They've done really well. They have several locations on the island. They offer breakfast at 7 a.m. A lot of different things on the menu, guys. So if you want something tasty and fresh and local, check out Kono's next to our final venue for the day. 
the gazillionaires of Malasadas, almost open 24 seven. Yes, the home of Leonard's Malasadas. I'm gonna go through the parking lot just to really make this official. This place is nonstop. And I'm telling you, man, they've never stopped being nonstop. That's why I say the gazillionaires because a Malasada, for those that don't know what it is, is it just a simple little boiled donut, sugar donut. They serve till almost midnight now, and they're open early in the morning. Today, folks, take a look at the gazillionaires of Malasadas on a Friday morning. Take a look at this line. Whoa, you guys, look at that. We're talking all the way down the street. Now Leonard's Malasadas, they've been rocking Malasadas for God knows 100 years already. And they're always the hottest spot for the omiyage and presents to bring to the folks. If you're a townie, it's a nice thing to take to the country. You know what I mean? But look at these folks. These are all the tourists wanting to get their samples as well. And uh, this place is nonstop for almost 24 hours a day now. They're open till midnight. 9 a.m. on Aloha Friday, you guys. Room of surf, sky views. Have a pleasant and blessed day. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. Aloha. Room of surf, mahalos for watching. This is Kapahulu, a new segment of Room of Surf Street Food Playlist. See you on the next street, guys. Until then, we'll see you in the kitchen, see you on the next street, see you in the surf. Big alohas and love. Stay safe, stay blessed. Aloha.